Greetings. Uh, the communists are still in power in Peru, part two. Um, I made a, my first video of 16 minutes to my great shock when I realized that Peru was still communist. Um, I made a vague reference to the Illuminati and then never really made the case or admitted I couldn't make it or whatever. But I want to <clears throat> at least try to give, if anyone's actually interested um, or, you know, concerned, uh, wh why it, it spreads through different administrations. Um, it, this was unfortunately somehow, you know, you would think we don't have communists trying to take over in Peru, right? Um, or an, elsewhere in Latin America. But the Chinese are actually, uh, was, did Nixon, you know, deceive us? Nixon said, uh, China's a sleeping giant, don't wake her up. And everything. Um, we needed to be alert, which I, you know, plead guilty, I wasn't. Uh, I had no idea that China was uh, trying to take over Peru. So how, wh what's, what's a, a good reference point on that? Um, and, and again, I, I, I don't know that it really, it, you can't pin it on any particular administration. Uh, it so happens that in the Trump era, um, there was a, a major take, communist take seizure of power. Um, I first got involved with Peru in 2005. I met like four presidents, just, I mean, you know, chance encounters or what have you, um, talked to two of them meaningfully. Anyway, so, but I mean, you know, I'm, I'm a nobody. So the thing is that um, suddenly there was an Odebrecht investigation which became cancerous and it was a runaway investigation and they started indicting all of these former presidents. And uh, I was just looking up the death of um, Alan Garcia was in 2000, he was a former president uh, in 2019. And um, so uh, trying to think of the different years involved. Anyway, so what happened is that the uh, communists took over that investigation. This was a slow, methodical uh, plot uh, over years. So it, it had to have started, uh, doubtless, you know, during the Obama administration and then seized power during the Trump administration. So, so what happened with that Odebrecht investigation? So you, those who follow Latin America know that Odebrecht has a checkered past, to say the least, right? Actually, I think they're a good construction company and they do some good things, including in Peru. Uh, but um, they were paying bribes and this had a uh, harmful effect, let's say, in in Venezuela, uh, and to some extent in Peru, right? But the communists took seized control of that investigation. I knew this was happening at that time. I knew something was really seriously wrong, that it was a corrupt investigation. Turns out it was the communists who were in charge of that thing and who started using this cancerous investigation, this runaway investigation to start toppling all these former presidents. So of all the four presidents of Peru, uh, if I'm counting correctly, that I've had a chance to bump into or meet or something or interact with, the most meaningful was with Alan Garcia. And I'll just use him as an example. So this cancerous communist, communist, right? Who would have thunk, right? Um, they, their goal was to topple all of the democratic presidents to pave the way for the election of a communist president. That's how sinister it is. It's unbelievable, right? So, and, and it's meaningless to say, well, this was during the Trump administration because don't we wish that they, we could blame one or another administration. It's, it's, it's something that transcends these administrations. Um, but anyway, so in that particular one, and, and this ends up with Alan Garcia committing suicide. Now, 
um, I had lucked into a conversation with him as to how to improve Peru by bringing, uh, by uh, converting seawater into drinkable fresh water, which could uh, turn deserts into farmland in Peru, which is a major thing. And he actually agreed in a public presentation when he was running for president again in 2016. So I was at FIU in Miami. He gave a public speech. I was the first questioner. I said, isn't it possible with advances in technology to convert seawater into fresh water? And he said, yes, you're absolutely correct. So like, I'm happy as a clam, right? And, um, but it's meaningful for Peru, which is the whole coastline is desert. And so if you can convert seawater into fresh water, you change the whole country for the better. And he was in, he was down with me on this. Um, and, um, then he ends up along with another one that I met, Pablo, Pedro Pablo Kuczynski. He got arrested by the communists. Uh, then uh, another one that I met that I had a conversation with, uh, drawing a blank on his name, uh, got arrested. And Keiko Fujimori got arrested and all of these people, I can't remember all the names. Oh, um, oh God, what's his name? Um, Ollanta Humala. So it's just like they're mowing down all of the presidents who actually got themselves elected. And I knew something was wrong. And so Alan Garcia, when they came to put the cuffs on him at his door, um, said, uh, just let me get my... Uh, you know, put on, bring my coat or whatever. And he went back to his bedroom and, and he blew his brains up. And he says he wasn't going to uh, put up with a charade. Now, whether he even knew that it was a communist plot, uh, it hasn't surfaced in the news, but he knew it was corrupt so so, so badly that he, he blew his brains out whether, rather than submit to it. And it, it is, it's a communist plot. It literally is, right? Um, and, uh, so that had to, you know, we, we can't, I mean, how do we come to grips with this? Um, um, we needed to be aware of it. I mean, we could say the CIA should have tipped us off. We, we could say that Bill Clinton should have been, uh, raising alarms. We could say... Whatever we say, you know, uh, it's it's really hard to figure it all out, except one thing's for sure. Uh, we're paying big bucks to our defense industry, and they uh, won't even acknowledge it to this day. Right? You know, I mean, yeah, uh, Southern Command General Laura um, Richardson has alerted me to, not me personally, but me as a viewer of her speeches, now they're finally raising the alarm. But where were they years ago? She was in the Iraq war. And I, and I want to pick on her and her husband, but they still brag in the Defense Department. This actually may be telling. When she was inducted um, in the, uh, to, to become the uh, general for the Southern Command um, in Miami, but it's, it's our U.S. government uh, thing that oversees all of Latin America. Um, they celebrated the fact that she and her husband were in the first, were in the first invasion uh, into Iraq, which is a corrupt war. There's no justification. There's no realist. It was a corrupt war from start to finish. Uh, and so we're celebrating that in the Defense Department. If you could go back and watch the confirmation uh, or the induction or whatever, you know, it, it, was, it was induction hearings of, you know, she's being uh, formally uh, named the head of South, Southern Command. And she says, look at her and her husband invading Iraq. Well, what's that to celebrate? They have no conscience. And, and it's not that I'm trying to relive that thing. It's just that where do we place, it's, it's that you and I, as taxpayers, uh, we're, we're, 
We're not getting our money's worth. Do you see what I'm saying? Uh, why did they do the Iraq war? That's part of the problem. Uh, why didn't they warn us about what was going on in Peru? Where, you know, it's so weird because we, we all have our conspiracy theories about the CIA. Well, where are they when you need them, right? I mean, come on, keep conspiring for God's sake. They 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 uh, ended Allende, presumably. Who knows? You know, but we assume that it was a. They murdered the communist president in Chile way back so many years ago. Who knows? It's just that it happened. And now we have a president who is totally, I, I happen to like you know President Biden. I will actually probably vote for him literally uh, in this next election because of other accomplishments. He's in denial. He's, he's, what, what, I don't know how he could live with himself actually covering all this up. Um, and uh, I, I say that because I've reached out to them. I, I made phone calls, you know, to the White House, to the State Department, uh, to, oh my God, you don't want to know, right? Um, and um, so I just wanted to explain all that. And, you know, whether we lay that at the, at the feet of the Illuminati, uh, you know, is probably uh, for some later date. It's just that I think one thing we do know is uh, our taxpayer dollars are not yielding the results we assumed that they would yield. We should have been warned. We should be being warned right now. And it's all America's in the dark. I mean, Joe Biden, if you're listening, I'll send this to you. Come on, be fair with the American people. Tell them what's happening in Latin America. China, wow, they, uh, they are trying to conquer the world. And you know, they have control now through economically of the OAS, of the Organization of American States. They've spent so much money. Do you realize that the people of China, did you know this? They don't have toilet paper. The masses in China do not have and do not use toilet paper. They, they wipe their butts with their hands, literally, China. Right? India, too, did you know? Uh, so the Chinese government is not stealing from us to give to its people because they won't even give their people toilet paper. Um what they're up to, what what do we know, except that they're hurting us. Thank you for listening.